So if you're thinking about relocating to San Jose, make sure you continue watching this video because this is gonna be one of the best video that you will need. My goal for you is after you watch this video, you'll be able to choose the best neighborhood that fits your lifestyle. So if you're thinking about relocating to San Jose, continue watching. Hey, this is Junior Smart, your Bay Area real estate agent. We help families and young professionals who are thinking about relocating here. So whether you're relocating to San Jose or anywhere in the Bay Area, reach out to us. We'd we'll love to work with you. We got your back. So my goal for you today is to learn everything you need to know about San Jose, all the different neighborhood. Uh, there are a lot of different neighborhood. So let's split it into two. So this is the east side. East side is like if you want some of the, you know, the nice food, uh, a little bit affordable area. That's the east side. Uh, but not not all east sides are affordable. This area, <laughs> this area is expensive. It's called Evergreen. Um, so you you have two area. So you have Evergreen, and then you have the Silver Creek. Silver Creek is more gated community. Um, so in this video, we're just gonna go over each neighborhood so you can get an idea, you know, so you can pick the right neighborhood that fits your lifestyle. You know, you see Amel Peters, Alam Rock, this is Berryessa, uh, Willow Glen, uh, this is Blossom Valley, and then you do have Amadan Valley down here. Uh, this is Cambrian Park, uh, Camp, Campbell, and then you do have Rose Park here. R Rose Park is one of the nicest neighborhood. It's where the Rose Garden is located. Let's start with downtown. Downtown is one of the most popular neighborhood here. This is downtown. Uh, here you, you can find basically everything. Um, if you want the nightlife, it's down here. They do have um, the best restaurants and the best clubs. And then this park is one of the best park here. It's called she She's a Chavez Park. And then you also have the SAP. That's where the sharks play. And then you do have the public transportation here. So if you are living in downtown San Jose, uh, everything's going to be close. Everything's going to be close to you because it's where the companies are located. Everything's close. Uh, if you are moving here because you want to go to San Jose State, this is where it's also located. Uh, and then the other positive thing about living here is you're close to the major freeway. So this one, this is 87. And then this is 280. And then this is, this is 101. So basically, if you want to commute, everything's going to be quick and fast. Um, let's say you're a young professional, you want to... You know, you want to live in downtown, but you don't want to be too close because it's crazy here and it's it's loud. You can just move a block away. It's a so here it's quiet, you know, and you're only a few blocks away from downtown. So a lot of people that live there, they love it. And then another benefit of living there is you're close to the airport. You're close to the airport and then you also have parks. All right, so let's talk about the downside of living in downtown San Jose. Well, they're not going to have a lot of grocery store. All right, so let's look at a different neighborhood, which is called Willow Glen. This is Willow Glen. So Willow Glen is one of the most popular neighborhood here. Uh, the reason why a lot of families love it, you know, it's known for having the best community event for kids. It's considered the best place to go to go treating. Uh, and then the other reason why it's also close to the major highway. So you have 87 and then you have 280. So for commuting, you know, it's not going to be too, too much. But the downside about living here, <laughs> it's, it's, it's expensive. Uh, then the medium is going to be the medium home sale price here is going to be over 
one. Uh, but it's a it's one of the best places to live if you can afford it. All right, so let's check out a different neighborhood. This one is called Campbell. Campbell is a popular area here. Uh, a lot of young professionals love living here. Uh, the reason why, because it's where most of the, the nightlife is. Uh, the downtown is amazing. If you want to go, if you're more into a nightlife, you can hang out here. Uh, the other, you know, good thing about living here is, you know, you have the downtown. They do have two downtown. You have the Campbell downtown and then you have the Prune Yard. Campbell downtown holds a lot of different festivals, uh, a lot of events. Uh, and then they have some of the best, you know, clubs and bars here. And then if, if you get tired, you can just go to the Prune Yard. Prune Yard also has... Prune Yard is not really a major downtown. It's just they do have a lot of restaurants here. And then the other pro of living here is they do have um, a VTA that will lead you to downtown. So if if you if you're living here, you can easily commute to work. All right, so let's check out a different neighborhood. This one is called Amadem Valley. So Amadem Valley is one of the most popular neighborhood here. The reason why families love it, it has some of the top schools. Uh, the downside of living here is, well. You do have to commute. So if you if you live here, this is Amadem Valley. To, if you have to commute to work, it's probably going to take you you know about thirty minutes. Uh, but living here is, you know, it's it's amazing because you do have this hike, uh, the quick silver. You know, it's quiet. It's safe living here. All right, so let's look at the other neighborhood, which is called Blossom Valley. So this is Blossom Valley. So this is an amazing place to live. It's a little bit affordable. When I say affordable, I don't mean outside of, you know, California. I mean affordable as in the Bay Area prices. The reason why families love living here is you have different options. You can live by the mountain. Or you can live in a zip code 95136. This is a little bit closer to downtown. Or you can live in the south side. Here, it's it's a little bit more affordable. And if you're looking to rent, it's also an affordable place. It's quiet. It's safe. A lot of families love living here. Uh, but the downside is your commute to work, which is not too bad. Maybe like 20 20 25 minute um there's this uh freeway here which is called 85 <laughs> 85 is always a lot of traffic on that road so you have 85 and 87 a lot of traffic on this road so that's just a little bit downside of living there uh they do have some of the best restaurants there's a mexican restaurant called uh, burrito factory it's one of the the best place here if you're looking to rent this is this is this is the best area because it's a little bit more affordable okay so let's look at a different neighborhood uh this is this is like a smaller neighborhood which is called communication hill it's part of blossom valley here if you want if you want to purchase a home with you know with the best view here i recommend this neighborhood uh this is one of the best places to go watch um the view or you want to go run on the stairs they have the longest stairs it's over 250. so if you want to go work out i recommend it, this place and it's also close to highway 87 so if you want to commute it's really fast and easy and you're not too far from downtown san jose by like 15 minutes or 10 minute drive okay so let's look at a neighborhood that's right now it's affordable it says alum rock alum rock right now is one of the most affordable neighborhood here uh the medium home sale prices is it's 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 under one million currently I don't know if that's going to stay 
like that for the next two years. But the really cool thing about living here, not just that it's affordable, you know, you, <laughs> you're close to the mountain, you know, and then this is one of the best places to go hiking. So if you love the nature, you know, you can live here. And it's not too far from downtown San Jose. And then the really good thing about living here is the public transportation they have around here. So if you if you are someone who commute, this is a really cool place to commute. It's a it's an affordable area and it's great for someone who wants to commute. All right, so let's look at another neighborhood. This one is called Evergreen. Ah, Evergreen is one of the best places to live. You know, they have top schools. So there are two sides. So this is Evergreen. And if you want gated community, it's right here. It's just called Silver Creek. Here you can have all this huge mansion here. Uh, and then of course, one of the best schools here, which is called Evergreen High School. I, you know, the little bit, the downside is just a little bit of commute, uh, but you're going to get safety. Uh, it's quiet. There's really nothing that happens here. Um, they have some of the best hiking area here. So overall, it's one of the best place here. But just know, you know, it's going to be expensive. Okay, so now let's look at a different area. So if you're relocating here and you're working in Silicon Valley, most of the companies are located here, which is called North San Jose or Santa Clara, either here or here. Most of the companies are located here, uh, downtown. Basically all these areas where most of the companies are located. Uh, the really good thing about li living here is uh, you well, you're going to be close to work. You don't really have to commute too far. But the downside is it's one of the most expensive area here, whether you want to rent or buy. I think like the medium rent here, it's over 3000 because, you know, this is where most of the companies are located. If you want something a little bit affordable, you know, Melpides, it's a really cool place to live. They have one of the biggest mall which is called great mall a lot of uh, things to do like you know some of the best restaurants uh, it's not too far from downtown um, a, a pro of living here is they do have a, a bar station so this is great for someone who wants to commute because you can commute to work or you can commute you know up or you, you can commute you know sorry to Mountain View. So this is a great neighborhood for someone who wants to commute. And then there's also a small neighborhood here, which is called Berryessa. Basically the same as Melpides. Mil if you want to commute, this is a great area. All right, so if you're relocating and, and you have kids and you're looking for you know neighborhood with the top schools, uh, you're gonna find them. You're gonna find them here, here, uh, here. You know, and then here. Uh, if you're a young professional thinking about relocating here, this is the neighborhood I recommend: Campbell, uh, Communication Hill, of course, downtown. Uh, if you want to commute, this is a really cool place. Uh, and then if you want something a little bit quiet, you don't really care about, you know, nightlife is a really cool place here. You know, down here, they do have a lot of newer, newer homes. And of course, then you're close to a really nice hiking area. Yeah. All right, guys. So we went over San Jose. We went over all the best places to live. Uh, some of the popular places here. If you have any question, go ahead and reach out to me. My name is Junior Smart, <laughs> a Bay Area real estate agent. See you in the next video.